Hey, welcome to Color Up Poker. Today I'm back here at the Grand Sierra Resort. I'm gonna hop into a $1, $2 game. And for today's objective, I'm really just going to play some hands, try to play some poker, have a good time, and see if I can color up. So let's see if I did just that. First playable hand of the day, and it's a monster. I've got aces in the big blind. There are two limpers. I get so focused on my cards, I forget I need to size up the bet. I should have made it at least $12, maybe $15. I raised only $7, though, and four players see the flop. Flop comes two, six, three. I bet out for $10. Player to my left calls, and the next player raises to $20. Nice. I should have everyone crushed. I push a stack in. My bet is 110. Next to me folds, and initial raiser goes all in. That's weird. Kings, maybe? I only have a few bucks left. I make the call. We flip him over. He had flopped the straight with a four five. I'm dead. Cards run out. Three of diamond, ten of diamond. He didn't fold four five offsuit for seven dollars. Would fifteen dollars have got him off at the hand pre-flop? I guess I'll never know. I'm told that's just poker sometimes. I rebuy for 150. Here I get queens in middle position. I open it to six dollars. The blinds make the call. Flop is clean. Jack, seven, four with two clubs. Check, check. I bet out for $10. One player makes the call. Turn is a seven. Player checks. I bet $15 and take down the pot. Ace king on the button. Getting great cards today. There's a $7 raise in front of me. I call. I guess could, maybe should, three bet here. We go three ways to the flop. Jack, seven, eight, rainbow. Players check. I just bet out for $5. One call and we go heads up to the turn, which is the five of diamond. Player checks. I make it $10 and take down a little pot. Queens again, this time in the big blind. Under the gun raises to $12. Two players call. Again, do I need a three bet here to thin the herd? Something I really need to study for sure. I just call and we go four ways to the flop. Ace and a pair of fives. I check, under the gun continues with a $15 bet. He's gotta have the ace right. Hate to give up queens, but I do fold. I think it's okay here. Another player showed his pocket nines. The winner did not show, sadly. They weren't all monster cards. Here I have 7-2 in the big blind. Two players limp, and I just check my option. Flop is 7-9-4 with a couple clubs. We all check the flop. Turn is a nine, pairing the board. I open bet for $5 and take down the pot. Usually you have to bluff with this hand, but I actually ended up with a decent hand. King seven suited, not a good hand from middle position, but I'm feeling frisky. Folds to me, I raise to $6, two players call. Flop is ace, nine, four, but only one spade. I hope they don't have an ace. Let's try to sneak one through. I bet out for $10, dang, player makes the call. Turn is the queen of diamond. I check, player bets for $20, and I have to fold here. Playing looser has its advantages, but it typically just costs me money. I get ace-king again. There is a limp I didn't notice. Again, I think I'm too excited about my cards. I just raised a six. One behind me calls, but the button raises to 36. I've seen him play. I think he is just trying to use his position. I go all in. Player asks for a count. I'm in for 111. Player has me covered and makes the call. We are heads up, but neither of us show. The cards come out. Five, six, jack, seven, ten. I flip over my cards thinking the player has to have something. He mucks his cards and I double up. Nice. That was nerve wracking though. I can't believe it survived. What do you think he had? Suited broadways maybe? Obviously not the tenor jack. Ace King once again, early position. It folds to me, I just open it to $6. Four players go to the flop. Eight, six, nine with two diamonds. I bet out for $15 and take down a little pot. The very next hand, I have Jack Queen offsuit. Eh, I just won a couple bucks, let's gamble. I open to $6, four players make the call. Ace, seven, 10, rainbow. It checks to me, I make it $10. Two players make the call. Turn is a seven of spade. I check, player bets $25. A pair, overcard, no possible straight for me. It's time for me to exit. Pocket tens under the gun. I open to $6. Player calls and the blinds come along as well. Flop is jack, five, six with two diamonds. 
The blinds check. I check. Player bet $17. Lots of table talk starts about how they are going to raise and double, stuff like this. I know it's tight and maybe you'll think I'm crazy with only one over card. I don't like the vibe at the moment. I just fold. I wasn't feeling it. The pot did end up ballooning quite a bit, so I think I made the correct fold. I never did see the winning cards though. This one is fun. 3-6 offsuit in the big blind. I get an option after a few limps and check. Five players see the flop. Ace, three, four, rainbow. I check, it checks to the button, and he raises to $6. I figure maybe I can represent the ace here. I re-raise to $15 and take down the pot. I do have a pair of threes, but this is a big bluff for me, and it got through. Nice. Queens in the small blind. It gets to me, and I raise to $7. Two players make the call. Ace, queen, three, with two hearts. I flop to set. I think this ace on the board can make me some money. I open for $10. One player calls, and we go heads up to the turn. Ugh, another heart. I check. He checks behind. River is the nine of spades. I'm less worried about the flush. I bet for 15, but he re-raises to 45. Now I'm thinking he was sitting on hearts maybe, but I got to make the call. He has ace of hearts, two of diamond for just top pair, and no flush. My set of queens is good here, and I win a good-sized pot. Well, there you have it. The first time my aces got cracked by kind of a sneaky straight. I don't know. Maybe I should have seen it coming. I don't know. I probably wouldn't have folded anyway. But, uh, yeah, part of poker, right? After that, I think I played pretty well. So, obviously, I lost all my complete buy-in. I think that was my first hand I was involved with, so down 150. And then uh, my rebuy I did okay. I cashed out for 205, and then I had an additional the rake back for playing. I cashed out another 50. So um, in for 150, well in for 300, I guess, and then out for let's see 205 plus uh, 255. So I did okay. Um, it's almost Christmas. I think I'm going to take a break. Probably won't be back. Maybe I'll be back next week between the holidays. I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, it felt good to play, and uh, it was a good time, even with my aces cracked. I, I didn't mind it all that much, you know, that that's part of poker. And uh, after that, I played pretty decent, I thought. So, uh, yeah, next time, hopefully I can do a little better at coloring up.